Happy Tuesday, everybody. Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland, back in the hot seat. We've got a four-box random team break, number four of 2017-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. A great time, uh, a great time to have this during the playoffs. Um, a big thank you to all of these folks for getting into the action. All teams are in. So let's randomize each list. One and a five, six times. Names first, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ran, ran about orgs running a little slow today. All right, after six times, we got Nancy down two, Will Bartle. And then once again, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, we've got Mavs down to the Kings, Sacramento Kings. All right, let's get this. All right, so Nancy, you have the Mavs. Rory Sears with the Trailblazers. Will Barley got the Hornets. Mike Tower with the Sixers. Will with the Bulls. Dan Maddox with the Lake Show. My Lakers. Jason Lawner with the Hawks. Rich with the Cavs. Alex with the Grizz, Nancy with the Timberwolves, Will Bartle with the Wizards, Jason Lawner with the Pistons, Alex Carmichael with the Heat, Will Bartle with the Knicks, we've got uh, Nuggets for Karen, Allen with the Pelicans, Josh Proust, you got the Bucks, Will with the Pacers, Mike Coons, last spot mojo, Golden State Warriors, they look great last night, David Kist with the Spurs, Jason Lawner with the Rockets, Michael Gallucci, Raptors, Celtics for Alex Carmichael, they're playing tonight, Kurt with OKC, Rich, you got the Jazz and the Nets, uh, Suns with Jeremy Anderson, uh, Nancy with the Magic and the Clippers, and Will with the Kings. Remember, this is 17-18 basketball, so current draft class, obviously. Now, this is a four-box break from a fresh 12-boxer. So while people are considering trades, Kurt has Thunder up for trade, by the way. So there's the case right there. Pop this case open. And let's select which four boxes we're going to do out of this case. So let's just make stacks of four. There we go. So we'll go um, on the, with the die right here. I'll choose this one today. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it is four. One, two, three, four. So these we will reserve for the next break, which is already in the store on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I'll kind of put some Wolverine slash marks right here so you know that they're, they're from the same case. I guess it really doesn't matter, but people like to know. There you go. We'll set that aside. I have a feeling we'll probably do another four boxes, if not the, the rest of that case today. So I'll keep that on my, on my desk. All right. Any trades? No. No offers for the Thunder, huh? Okay. So let's print that guy out. This is actually a third of a case. Let's put that in the title here. All right, so hot off the presses. There we go. So once again, another quick look at the list that you saw on the previous screen. Guy's playing okay. <laughs> Guy's doing all right in the playoffs. One autograph per box is what we're looking for, and then a bunch of parallels. What's great about the basketball, I think, as most of you may already know by this point in the season, is that even some of the parallels will uh, will do very well on a secondary market if that's what you're if that's what you're into. 
even if you're just personally collecting this stuff, this stuff is great because it just looks good. It's a good looking product. All right, good luck. Oh, let's, let me officially close up the trade window too. In the chat. So we are only one game in to each of the conference finals with the Celtics blowing out the Cavs and the Warriors kind of easily defeating the Rockets in Houston. So after game one, what is everyone's knee-jerk reaction? I'll tell you, before the series started, I kind of gave a slight edge, at least from a uh, wagering perspective, now that that's... U U.S. Supreme Court has made it legal. Um, just from a, a, a wagering perspective, I, I thought, you know, there would be a little bit of value in, 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 in the Rockets. And so I, I gave it a, a gamble, literally. But I don't know. I don't feel good about that anymore. That's my knee-jerk reaction after game one. I also took the Cavs in the series. And my knee-jerk reaction after game one is that, is that the Celtics have all the answers for any questions the Cavs may ask. Maybe except for LeBron, but that's about it, right? Evan Newman says LeBron will come back. Will come back and win the series or just not get swept? Robert Rohr is saying Celtics are going to the final. That's, I mean, after game one, that's what it looks like. Game two is tonight. We'll see what happens. I mean, the Cavs can blow out the Celtics and then everyone's opinion will be different, right? All right, Mario Chalmers. That's Lime Green out of 175. DeMar DeRozan. What happens to that Raptors team? DeMar DeRozan right there. I think in the fall, Brandon. Uh, there's Yusef Nurkic, restricted free agent. What happens to him? Kristaps Porzingis. That is 22 out of 49. The Chalmers goes to the Grizz, Alex. Porzingis goes to the Knicks, of course, Will Bartle. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Booney still says Cavs in six. And eight out of 39, there's Derek White. I like that. I think this is the, that pattern is called velocity. Eight out of 39 on that. We'll save those the rookies cards. I think those are slightly shorter printed. And it's the silver rated rookie cards, the refractor ones, which are the big ones. So Booney believes in this guy right here, LeBron, lime green, at a 175. I mean, thing is, I think we've, I underestimated LeBron in the Pacers series. I didn't really underestimate in the Raptors series. I thought the Raptors would make it more competitive, but I mean, that series was a breeze for them. Rich is hoping for a Donovan Mitchell redemption. He's got the Jazz. There's Juwan Evans, rated rookie. Uh, Andrew K guessing uh, uh, Ozuki, the the Chinese center, right? I think he's it's like a seven foot tall dude. Put him out there. Maybe he'll maybe he'll be able to, to stop that Warriors offense. Uh, rated rookie signatures, it's Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks, I believe, is a Grizzly. Dylan Brooks is a Grizz, yeah. A Michael Jordan redemption? Oh, I think he's signing for Upper Deck. He's exclusive to Upper Deck. There he is right there. We'll top load the rest of these parallels before they get shipped out. All right, so first autograph going to Alex Carmichael. Robert Roar asking, how's OG Anoobi for the Raptors? I think he's pretty good. I think he put in some decent minutes, right? In the regular season. I think he's going to be a solid player. 
I guess really the question is, are they going to stick with the same roster? And you, I, I, well, they're going to get a new coach. Stick with the same roster with the new coach, and is that are they just going to try again? Maybe they need need new personnel. Thing, I think one of Kyle, I think Demar, Demar Rosen or Kyle Lowry, one of those guys, are going to end up having to go. I think if they want to get any new blood in there. But I think Adam Obi is there to stay as one of their younger players, more promising players, upside. The Raptors are stupid or fine. Their it would seem like a knee-jerk reaction. I mean, he's improved that team every year, but but really, they just can't get over that whatever that mental hurdle may be over over LeBron over playoff LeBron. All right. Good luck. Shaq, Magic Edition. And there's Lion Green, Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball hopefully working on his shot right now. Come on, Lonzo. Out of 175, or else he might turn into this guy. Oh, no. I thought that was going to be Rajon Rondo. There's Silver De'Aaron Fox right here. So these definitely have carried the value as opposed to the regular ones. That'll go to the Kings. Will Bartle with the Kings. Lime Green Torn Prince. That'll go to the Hawks. That's for Jason Lawner. Sammy Ojale. He's getting some minutes. Ojale, I think. Ojale. Getting some minutes up there for the Celtics. Could be. He's yet another defensive option in case someone, Marcus Morris, gets in. Gets in foul trouble. Uh, Kobe, 41 out of 49. Evan Newman saying Lonzo is a bust. What, after, after two-thirds of an injury-riddled season, you can call it? Just like Jared Goff was a bust his first year. Just like Jamal Murray was a bust his first year. Markel Fultz a bust too, right? Oh, Victor Oladipo bust. 86 out of 99, Thaddeus Young. I don't know, I think it's hard to tell after a season. Especially when these guys are drafted so young. Uh, 18 out of 39. Velocity, Black Velocity, Reggie Jackson for the Nuggets. That'll go to Jason Lawner. Steph Curry, Buzz. He had a weird shot too, didn't he? Shot from the hip. What an awkward shot. Another redemption. And there's Gary Harris, 84 out of 199. Yeah, remember when James Harden was a bust cause, just because he was coming off the bench bust? Greg Oden was hurt like Lonzo, and look what happened to Greg Oden. I, you're, you're comparing a a 7-foot center played a completely different game with terrible knees that was drafted way too high. <laughs> yeah, he must be a Celtics guy. All right, the redemption is BAM! Rated rookie signatures blue, Bam Adebayo for the Heat. Alex Carmichael with the Heat. I, mean, I think you're comparing apples to oranges. All right, see you, Jackie. I think you're comparing apples and apples to oranges, Evan. I mean, he has Lonzo did not have the best season, injuries and whatnot. He didn't have the best season, but. He, Threw down some triple doubles, you know, showed some promise. I wouldn't call him a bust just yet. Is he J is he Jason Tatum? No. I mean Jason Tatum's clearly a better player. Donovan Mitchell? No, he's clearly a better player, but I don't know. Talking about like a 19, 20 year old kid in the league for the first time. It's amazing what Jason Tatum's doing, what Donovan Mitchell's doing. 
but sometimes you end up with a Markel fold. So you just give up on Markel folds. No, I, I, I think it's difficult to call anybody a bust within their first two or two, three years of, of their career. Even then, you can't really call someone a bust until after their career is over, right? <laughs> and I find it hard to call, like for, for Greg Oden's case, for example, I find, a, I find it difficult to call someone a bust just because of injuries. I feel like that's a little unfair. All right, yeah, exactly. I mean, Kobe wasn't even Kobe until like six years in, right? His first few years, man, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll bet if you go back, someone, you know there's someone calling him a bust back then. Yeah, I, I agree, Bruyo. There's, there's, Lonzo's a weird player. I think he's a lot like Rajon Rondo. He's got a lot of good court vision, you know, but just not that great of a shooter. You know, you saw Rondo with like 21 assists. Like he can move the ball around, and that might be fine if, if if that's precisely why the Lakers drafted him, just to use his specific, like in Taken, right? Liam Neeson has a very specific set of skills. Uh, that's what that's what Lonzo Ball is. He has a very specific set of skills. If the Lakers can leverage that, that's great. But if the Lakers drafted him thinking he's going to be, you know, Jason Tatum, I, I, I think they made the mistake. But I don't think that's why they drafted him. Autograph right away. Frank Mason the third. That's 29 out of 49 for the Sacramento Kings. That'll go to Will. Nice. There's Covington. There's Orange Steven Adams. Man, what do they what, what do they do? We got some OKC guys here. What are the next steps for the Thunder? You know, you got guys like that. I mean, do you, I don't know what you do. I guess it all depends on whether Paul George opts out or not, and you kind of figure it out from there. Norm Mixon. And yeah, we got TJ Leaf, rated rookie for the Pacers. Five out of 79. That goes to Will Bartle. John G., who's an OKC guy, says, Trade Westbrook? Lakers will take him. We'll, we'll, we'll send you Lonzo Ball. He's got potential upside. You just reconstruct. There's Isaiah Thomas. We'll send you that guy, too. Josh Jackson, rated rookie. Nice one for the Suns. Jabari Parker, Lime Green for the Bucks. Uh, Bucks going to Josh Pruce. 99 out of 175, and there's Josh Jackson, rated rookie for the Suns. That'll be for Jeremy Anderson. Um, I have actually have no idea what Paul George is going to do, Paul. I'd like Paul George to come to L.A., but I think he's going to take as much time as he, as he wants to. I think Kurt saying nobody should trade Westbrook, and he said John saying, "Well, it seems like nobody can play with him." I think that's the challenge of Westbrook. It's like you can't not have him. You know what I mean? He's too good, dude. Dude's averaging triple doubles for 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 a season, two seasons, which is kind of ridiculous. I, I think the challenge is, uh, and, I, and I know a lot of you, everyone's probably heard this comparison already. Everyone's been saying it. I'll say it too. You got to think of, you got to think of uh, constructing the team in a different way. I think Westbrook, you have to construct it like you would, like they did with, you know, Allen Iverson and the Sixers. So you you can either trade him if you don't feel like building it, like, building a team like that. Then you should definitely trade it. Otherwise, I think you have to tailor, you have to talk to the coach, you have to talk to Westbrook, you got to talk about strategy, tactics, all that stuff to, to get the most out of Westbrook. 
and construct a team specifically around him and just say, hey, next five years, that's what it's going to be. Then we'll rebuild. Otherwise, if that's not the case, if you're going to kind of half, you know, kind of be on the fence about it, do we construct a complete team? Do we work around Westbrook? This or that? Then just trade Westbrook. That's what I say. Scott, what's going on? See, I... But this is our last box, folks. See, quick four box break. Uh, Jaspyshobbyland.com has the other two thirds of the case in the store right now. So check it out. I, how much did this cost? I, I'm, I'm assuming a four box break, a third of a case was a pretty decent price. I'm looking on the website right now, Jaspyshobbyland.com. Sixteen ninety nine, a random team spot. Some of those parallels, I'll tell you what. Some of those parallels may get your the cost of your spot back. And then some, pretty easily, which is not bad at all. I don't know if, I mean, I guess you guys are, you guys are in Jose and John G and Evan. I think you guys are the ones in OKC. You guys hear the news and the local sports talk radio every day. You know, so, I mean, I'm assuming you guys hear more about this than I do, so... I mean, maybe he does care more about the triple doubles. I don't know. Maybe he cares more because he knows that he doesn't have a championship team, so he's just going to get his. I mean, who knows? There's Andrew Wiggins for the Timberwolves, Nancy. Yeah, the oh yeah, the draft lotto is tonight. The Lakers don't have like a lotto pick for once in like the last four years, so it's not as not as important to me. They've got a late first round pick from that. Isaiah Thomas trade. There's Covington for the Sixers, Mike Tower. Out of 175. There's Oladipo. What a season for him. Yep, there. Speaking of Paul George, there he is. Out of 175. Paul George, Thunder, that'll go to Kurt. Brandon Ingram had a nice season. And there's Al Farouk Aminu at a 99. That goes to the Trailblazers. Rory Sears with the Trailblazers. There's Damian Lillard. What do the what do the Trailblazers do? <laughs> they've got a, they've they've got some things to figure out too. There's Kuzma, he had a great season. There's Malcolm Delaney. And there's your autograph out of 49, Jonathan Isaac, rookie dominator's autograph for the Orlando Magic. And that'll head out to Nancy. There's Thomas Bryant, silver rated rookie. There's Malcolm Delaney. And there's Mike Connolly. Are you saying that the Paul George logo on the back was Pacers? Huh, you're right. That is Pacers edition of Paul George. So that'll go to, good eye. That'll go to Will instead. And this, still a magic for Nancy. There you go, Nance. And there you have it, folks. That was a quick four box break from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Very easy, nice bite size. Instead of like this big hour long break, we break it down into about a 20 minute break so there you have it folks thanks very much we'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com for the next four box break of donner's optic basketball see you later